everyone, this is Easy Survivor, and I'm going to be starting a new Let's Play on Feed the Beast Unleashed Mod Pack. Now, this is going to be episode 0. Now, in this episode, I'm going to teach you how to install it, how to increase your RAM capacity, and then I'm going to show you the settings that I'm going to be using for you to copy if you feel like doing so and mine will be limited because I'm recording as well now just before I start it may say the advertisement at the top for bandit cam I'm only using that for this first video I've got fat fraps fully downloaded but you can't use fraps outside of an actual game or program it won't record your screen so you may see that at the end when we get into the game so to get started, you're first going to want to go to your internet and you're going to want to type in Feed the Beast on your search. And then the first link should be to this website, which is the Feed the Beast homepage. Now you've got some lovely fan art here. And if you scroll down, this is what you want. And you want to click the EXE. And if that doesn't work, then go to the jar. I find that the EXE, the executable file, is more viable it works more often and it's going to download it and something's going to pop up probably advertisement oops wrong thing you want to show that in folder now once you've got that you're going to want to then make a separate folder on your home page your desktop I mean or something like that which I have here. Now I've had this installed before and I've deleted everything so I can show you how to do it. Then what I do is stick in that folder and you're good. Then I create another folder in this and call it directory. Now I don't know whether this will happen. Um, just get rid of that. Right, yeah. You want to click on it just see. All right, because I've already had it, it's opened up this other folder here called Other. Now, I can just delete that, actually. But when you first open it, it'll pop up with this little window and it say words you want to put your files for the program. Now, what you're going to want to do is create, create the folder as I did and ask it to put in that folder. Then, you're good. Now, you're going to want to select your mod pack which shall be Feed the Beast Unleashed for me but this will help you how to install any of the others now just minimize the console now in here I can already extend this because I've already done what I needed to do to allow me to increase it now what else I'd also do is see this one here tick it so when you close if you for some reason your Feed the Beast crashes it'll automatically pop your launcher back up okay now what you want to do is close your launcher and you want to go click here right click on your screen I mean new text document now I'm not going to do that because I've already got what you need now this oh, this is what you're going to want to uh, have this will allow you to change how much RAM you are allocating to your game now if you don't know how much RAM your computer has. If you're using Windows 7, go to. Wait, um, computer, sorry. System properties. And here it shows you how much RAM you have. Now I have 4 gig. So at max, I'd give half of your processing power just to one program dedicated to it. Okay. So here we have now just keep that in mind here I'm gonna put this in and you wanna delete this bit there now you wanna to go to where you put your thing right click on feed the beast launcher create shortcut then right click again on your shortcut and down here properties and in properties it'll get this now you want to control C or right click and copy however you want to do go here 
and paste it in. I'm using Control V. Then I'd save that. Then I'd go File, Save As. Go to your f the beast where you want it. Name it FTB Launcher. Dot bat and all file types. Now this is how to create a bat file so you can allocate whatever RAM you want. Click save. Close that. Close that. Delete your shortcut. And you are good to go. Let me empty my recycling bin. Double click on your Feed the Beast launcher. Options. And now you can allocate more or less RAM. Now I'm going to bump it up to two. To two. To. Okay, that's just very annoying. Two gig. Right, sorry about that. To two gig. Now that's done. You're good. Uh, get out of the way. Minimize that. Shut up, back up. Sorry, I've got some backup thing on here that I need to turn off. Go back, and you're going to want to now launch. Now, this is going to take a while to download everything, so I'm going to cut the video here and we'll be back in when it's downloaded. Right, hello, and now we're back, everyone. Right, so I just recorded this bit, and something disturbed me, and it was all shouted, and I couldn't hear anything properly on the recording. So I'm just going to go over what I've done in that so far. Oops, what am I clicking that for? <laughs> right, I turned off music, sound up, hyperspeed sensitivity, difficulty hard. Those are my video settings. Pause if you want to have a proper look. I changed my language to UK, I have no text pack, I turned off snooper. And this is the important bit, controls. Now you need to change... Mode to R, it should say M, I change it to R for ease of touch, you want to keep that the same, um, I'll accept that as C, um, you can just go as that, you can go as that because we don't use you, I don't know about the force belt, um, no, 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 that can go as P, um, my portraits I like to set as no not O. Um, no, oh, I'm trying to find the button because I haven't got I, you don't have that in whatever mod packs I've played. It's a nice little mod pack, very nice. Um, and I believe that's all apart from in the game. Now I'm gonna get into the game and we'll be back. Right, now the world's loaded up, I'm going to go through the, some of the options that you will like to change. Now, if you press your equals button, it'll bring up raise minimap options. Now, go to controls, and this is where you can change how all your menu is. Now, I have right bracket there, left bracket for that, toggle mobs, I, no, I don't want anything. I can't remember how you set that to nothing. Set that to something that I'll never use, nine. Zoom can be grave and toggle full map will be the apostrophe. I'll have to have a look what changes what that's colli colliding with, but that'll be found out later. Oh, wait, someone better keep press escape. No, um, oh, it's that one. Oops, silly me. Controls, um, escape for that, and this one can be great, it'll still be great. Right now, what you want to have done that. Go to your menu, options here, set that to recipe mode, that's enable, that's like that, turn on, that will be hidden, turn it on, with that on you can look at blocks and it'll tell you what they are, for example, what the heck is that, oh it's a blueberry bush, very helpful in modded Minecraft. Now what else was there? Um, I think that's all the options. This is going to be the world that I'm going to use. So let's have a look what the seed is. That's a seed. I'll put it in the description. This will be the world that I'm using. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this informative. This is episode zero. I'll be recreating this world in survival without creative mode enabled. 
Hope you found this very informative. Again, I don't know why I said that again. Hope you enjoyed it. Please drop a like or subscribe. It'd be very nice. Leave a comment if there's anything you need to know. And I'll see you next episode. This has been CZ Survivor.